Welcome to Wasdown Tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to verify your Facebook business manager and how to kickstart the process from Wasdown platform. So in Facebook, the only way to kickstart a Facebook business manager verification is to set up a Waba account. And to set up a Waba account, you need to go to Wasdell platform and create a channel. So this channel needs to be a WhatsApp Cloud API channel. I'm not going to explain too much on the Waba channel setup, but once you have completed the channel setup, you will need to go to the uh, Facebook Business Manager business settings to kickstart the verification. Now I'm going to business settings. Log into business.facebook.com and then head to business settings and then select the one you have already created. So go to your WhatsApp accounts and then go to settings. And then now you will see the business verification is unverified and the review has not yet started. So in order to start the business verification, you just click this button. Otherwise, uh, apart from clicking this button, you can go to the business info and then click on start verification. So either way is okay as long as you have created a WABA account. Otherwise, if you have been spending money on uh, placing ad on Facebook, you probably will have this button enabled too. Now I'm clicking the start verification button in the uh, WhatsApp account. And then it will redirect you to this page and you can start verification. So now you need to enter all the details here or, and to verify it. And now I'm going to talk about some tips that you, you may need to consider when you are doing this process. So in the business verification, you will need to enter the sub submission details, a website, and a business document. And all the business information in the business, all of this uh, submission must be consistent. And being consistent means that you are using the same language, spellings, capitalization, and content. Moreover, it will ask you the contact email and ask for the website and the domain between the two must be the same. Now I'm going back to the business verification. As you can see here, my business website is here and then I click next. Now Facebook will take some time to load and now you need to submit a document that will prove that uh, your business is a legal business and it's a true business. Usually you need to submit your business license with the address of your business and the official name of your business. Business. So I'm just going to choose a random one in my folder. And then after you have uploaded the document, you need to choose the language that they need to review. So I'm going to choose English and then click next. After that, they need to verify your business address or phone number. So just select one of the documents with phone number or address. Either one will be fine. So I'm just going to choose a random file. Here you can also see some examples. For details, you can click the link and uh, investigate further. But the most important part is, you can actually use the same business license you have uploaded in the previous step, as long as the license already has the address or phone number. 
So I'm just going to click next. Now it will ask you to choose a verification. You can either choose a business contact phone number or choose a contact email address. So because today we are just doing a trial, we are not actually doing a submission. So after you have actually completed these steps, let's say if you are choosing email address, it will send you an email with a verification code. After you have submitted the code and verified the email, then the entire process will be kick-started. So this is the end of the tutorial. Hope you find the entire tutorial useful. Thank you and have a nice day.